The winter season at Harvard was highlighted by postseason appearances and multiple national championships. Women's basketball finished the season third in the Ivy League with a 17-13 overall record and a 9-5 conference mark. Advancing to the second round of the WNIT for the fifth time, the Crimson hosted postseason games for the first time in program history. Junior Katie Benzin and senior co-captain Madeline Raster were named to the All-Ivy first and second teams, while both surpassed 1,000 career points this season. Additionally, Benzin broke the program record for three-pointers made in a career with 287. Head coach Kathy Delaney-Smith reached 600 career wins as she also saw her head coaching position become endowed as the Friends of Harvard women's basketball head coach. For the second straight year and the seventh time in nine seasons, Harvard men's basketball earned the Ivy League championship. Junior point guard Bryce Aiken was a unanimous first-team All-Ivy League selection, showing a knack for making clutch baskets late in games, while first-year Noah Kirkwood was crowned the Ivy League Rookie of the Year. The Crimson advanced to the second round of the NIT for the first time in program history with a 71-68 win over Georgetown, and head coach Tommy Amaker joined an elite group with 400 career victories. The men's and women's fencing team capped the 2018-19 season fourth in the nation at the NCAA championships, its best finish since the Crimson won it back in 2006. After claiming a bronze medal finish in foil, sophomore Jeffrey Tourette earned All-America first team alongside first years Elizabeth Tartakovsky and Veronica Szyzewski, also claiming the individual All-Ivy Championship title in Sabres, senior co-captain Eli Dershowitz concluded his career with the Crimson on a perfect 32-0 note while adding a plus 89 touch differential. Women's ice hockey finished tied for sixth in ECAC hockey with its second straight appearance in postseason play. The Crimson posted an overall record of 12-15-5 and, and went 9-9-4 and in conference play. Highlights of the season included back-to-back -back overtime games against number one Wisconsin in November and a 4-1 victory over number seven Boston College to earn a spot in the Beanpot Championship game for the 29th time in program history. Goalie Lindsey Ray drew multiple postseason honors after she led the NCAA in both save percentage and goals against average for a significant part of the season. Reed was a finalist for both ECAC Hockey Rookie of the Year and Goalie of the Year and earned a spot on the second team All-ECAC team. Reed, along with senior captain Lexi Lang and rookie Kira Willoughby, also picked up All-Ivy honors. Harvard finished the 2018-2019 season with a 19-11-3 record, reaching the ECAC Hockey Championship weekend in Lake Placid for the fifth consecutive year. The Crimson made its 25th appearance in the NCAA tournament and its fourth in the last five seasons, falling to UMass in the NCAA Northeast Regional Semifinals. Junior defenseman Adam Fox, a Hobie Baker Award Top 10 finalist, the Walter Brown Award winner and the ECAC Hockey Player of the Year completed a historic campaign, setting the school mark for most points by a defenseman in a single season. Women's swimming and diving put together a 2018-2019 season that saw it go 7-2 in dual meets and 6-1 in the Ivy League. The Crimson won its second consecutive Ivy League championship. The Crimson had 17 All-Ivy honorees and qualified five for the NCAA championship. Three of Harvard's five NCAA qualifiers were divers, marking the first time Harvard has had multiple divers advance since at least before the 09-10 season. Men's swimming and diving completed the 2018-19 campaign with an 8-1 dual meet record and its third straight undefeated Ivy League record en route to its third consecutive Ivy League championship. Harvard sent six individuals and all five relays to the NCAA championship where it finished in eighth place, the Crimson's best finish since the 1960-1961 season. Dean Ferris won the 100 free and the 100 back national championships, making him the first Harvard swimmer to win multiple events at the national meet since 1954. Ferris also broke the NCAA and American record in the 200 free with his effort on the opening leg of the 800 free relay. Harvard skiing saw a successful season on the slopes, finishing within the top 10 at all six carnivals this season. Harvard had two Nordic skiers, senior Hannah Hardenberg and first year James Kitch, advance to the NCAA championships, marking the first time the Crimson had multiple skiers qualify for the postseason since the 2013-2014 season. Hardenberg led the women's squad with 83 points across the season, while Kitch was the team leader with 105 points on the year. 
Harvard finished yet another season undefeated, extending its win streak to 65 consecutive matches, dating back to the 2014-2015 season. The team rolled to its fifth straight Cow Cup, defeating number three Trinity 9-0. The team finished the season with 13 wins, all of which were by the 9-0 margin. Junior Gina Kennedy reached her third consecutive CSA Individual National Championship, capturing her second title. Junior Eleanor Evans won the Holloran West B Division as the division's top seed. Senior Sabrina Sobe earned Ivy League Player of the Year honors, while Gina Kennedy, Amelia Henley, and Kayla Leonard added first team All-Ivy honors. The Crimson completed the season in perfection. After finishing the season with a 13-0 record, the men charged through the CSA Team National Championship, defeating number two Trinity 9-0 to earn the Potter Cup. Victor Cruen won all four of his matches by a 3-0 decision as the number two seed, earning the Pool Trophy as a first year. Cruen was also the Ivy League Player and Rookie of the Year. Junior Timothy Brownell and first year Marwan Tarek added all Ivy honors. Junior triple jumper Simi Jemison earned All-American status at the NCAA Track and Field Championships. The Oxford UK native broke her own school record at the Ivy Heptagonal Championships, jumping a mark of 13.27 meters to win the triple jump and help her earn Hep's Female Field Athlete of the Meet. Also earning awards at Hep's was Kieran Tunktevi, who earned the Hep's Male Track Athlete of the Meet after a gutsy performance in the men's 3000 with only one shoe for 12 laps and following it up the next day with a 5,000 meter win and a blistering 26 second final lap. The men's and women's team combined for 15 all Ivy honorees for HEPs and the men's team placed third at HEPs as the women's team finished second. Wrestling suffered an inordinate amount of injuries up and down the starting lineup. The Crimson ultimately finished with a dual match record of two and nine, picking up victories over Franklin Marshall and Hofstra. Junior Hunter Landier won a team best 22 matches, including five against EIWA opponents at 157 pounds. Lucas Stricker, a 133-pound sophomore, had 16 victories, including a team high six in the EIWA and route to honorable mention all Ivy League honors.